hello guys in this video we are going to create this previous search section in our recipe space so let's do that but before that as you can see in our terminal we have two warnings so let's try to get rid of them so it is saying that we should use triple equal sign instead of just two equal sign in navbar and sidebar so let's go to our navbar and in line 38 so here we're using two equal sign we just have to use three so this is just a warning from linter this is not an error or anything it's just a good practice save and now in our sidebar again in line 9 so let's go to line 9 which is here we just have to add another equal sign like so and now our warnings are gone so let's start building this section here so let me open up my sidebar and now we want to work on our recipes page so for now we only have this text here so let's go to our recipes page which is here so as you can see we have this dummy text but now we want to start creating this section so let's do that so I'm going to create a div let's give it a class so let's say class name equals to previous search and then we're going to have a h2 so header 2 tag and this will simply say previous searches so I'm going to copy this control C and paste it control V like so and here it is it says previous searches okay after that we're going to have div another div and this will have a class name of previous searches container so let's copy this control c and paste it and then say dash container so inside that we're going to have some items for the items i'm going to create an array so i'm going to say const searches like so and our array will contain this item so let me populate it real quick okay so as you can see i have added some items in our searches array okay let's use it now so here we, we can say searches dot map so we're going to say searches map we're going to get search so for each of them let's say we want to render a div and let's make it multi lines so it is easier for us to read and let's give it a class name so we're going to say class name equals to let's say search item like so and here we can simply just print our search so we're going to say search like so save and all our searches have have been rendered here according to the searches array and now we just have to style it and actually i'm also going to give this a class of section so we're going to say section save so now this is in two column that is because section has a display of flex so we want to make it blocks okay so let's go to our index.scss and before we start writing let's cut this out so the code for our footer so we are going to cut it control x in our partials folder we are going to create a new file and we are going to call it underscore footer dot scss like so and here we can paste what we copied so we are going to paste what we copied and let me just remove this line save close and we're going to import it so we're going to say at import and we're going to import partials forward slash footer dot scss like so and everything still works the same so okay so now we can say our previous searches will have a display of block so display block like so and then we can say the h2 inside that the h2 will have a color of text color and i think we don't need anything else apart from this margin save so this is how this looks like okay now let's style them like so so let's see let's go back so this one has a class of previous searches container so let me copy this control c and we can paste it dot v like so and then all our all of our search item have a class of search item so let's copy this control c and paste it control v so first of all they will have a background color background color of our primary color so we're going to say var dash dash primary color like so this is how they look like and they will have a display of inline block so we're going to say inline dash block so inline dash block like so and we want some padding so we're going to say padding of let's try 0.5 em and let's also add some margin so we're going to say margin of let's say we want the margin top to be 0 the margin right to be let's say 0.5 em the margin bottom will be 0.5 em and the margin left will also be 0 save and this is how they look like let's see and pretty similar i think 
for the left right padding let's increase it so when you say left right can be 1 em like so the color will be white so we're going to say hashtag fff like so and the border radius so let's say border radius of let's try 30 pixel okay this should be border radius not border so when you say border dash radius of 30 pixel save and now we have this rounded border okay i think we need to increase our spacing so let's try 0.75 instead of just 0.5 and i think it should be one so we're going to say full one em and and one em and yeah i think this is pretty close to what we have and now we also want some box shadow so we're going to say box shadow So let's say the x will be 0, the y will be 3 pixel, the blur will be 6 pixel and the color will be our shadow color, save. And now we have the shadow. Okay, in our finished project, if I were to refresh, you'll see one item comes after another. So they also need some animation. But before that, we need to reduce some margin between our h2 and this. So in our h2, we are going to say the margin bottom will be, let's try 0.5. And 0.5 is better, so let's give them an animation. So we're going to say animation. And the animation, let's see, in our partials folder, we have this animations.scss. Inside that, we have this slide in right, so we can use this slide in right here. So let's go to index.scss. So we're going to say the animation duration will be get animation duration, let's say 0.5 second. And the name will be our slide in right. Save it. And now they comes from the right side but we want one to come after another one so for that we need some animation delay so again we could have used just a for loop here and then get the animation delay but instead of that i'm going to add the animation delay in our javascript because that way it, it doesn't matter how many search item we have the animation delay will be added accordingly because we are already using a loop here so this map here is a loop so we're also going to say style also we have to use double setup curly brace and here we want to set the animation delay okay so for the animation delay we also need to get our index so here we are also going to get index so we are getting the search and we also want to get the index okay i think we forgot to add a key here so let's say the key will be index so our div will have a key and the key will be index and again we can use this index for our animation delay so we can simply say index times let's try point 0.2 and plus we want an s for second save let's click on refresh and this is working but initially we want them to be hidden so let's go to our animation so here so initially we want the transform to be this and the opacity to also be zero so we can just copy this control c let's go to index.scss and here we can paste it let me fix the indentation and so now our animation fill mode have to be forwards so we simply have to say forwards save let's try to click on refresh and now one comes up to another let's try to see here okay let's try to reduce the animation delay so let's go to our recipes page inside that Instead of saying 0.2, let's try 0.1. Save. Click on refresh. And yeah, this is pretty similar to what we have in our finished project. And now we want to create this search bar. So let's create that. So after the previous searches, we can create a div. Let's give it a class name of search box. Okay, inside this search box, we want to input and we want a button so let's create them so here let's create an input the type will be text and the placeholder will be let's say search like so and after that we also want a button so let's create a button and again this will have a class name of btn so class name equals to btn and inside that we want the search icon so for that we are going to use font awesome so let's import font awesome and our icon so we are going to say import and we want to import font awesome so we're going to say font awesome icon from at font awesome forward slash react font awesome and after that we also want to import our search icon so we're going to say import and we want to import fs search so s e a r c h search from font awesome forward slash free solid svg icons and so inside this button we can use our font awesome so you can say font awesome and our icon will be our search icon save 
and here you can see we have this button we have this search bar but they look very ugly so let's style them okay so let's copy this class so it is search box control c and let's go to our index.scss so we can let's say we can paste it here let's say this will have a display of flex we can say display is going to be flex and then we can also say align items to center so align items center save and this is how this looks like and let me give it a background color just so that we can see it for now so background color of let's say red so this is how much height it has so let's say this will have a fixed height so let's say height equals to let's try 40 pixel for now and then let's target the input and the button inside that so let's say they will have a height of 100% so let's say height of 40 pixel and this is how they look like let's see okay we need to reduce the height let's try 30 and let's see okay let's make it 35 so I think 35 should be pretty close to what we have in our finished project and yeah 35 should be good enough let me just remove the background color of red and then we can also say justify content so justify content we can say end so now the input and the button is in the right side so now let's target the input separately so we're going to say input and our input will have a border so let me just copy the border from here so i'm going to click on inspect and this is the border so i can copy this actually let's just copy all of them and then i'll explain it to you so let me just copy all four all these lines control c and you can paste it control v and let me fix the indentation save and this is how this look like so our input will have a mean width of 250 pixel and for the padding the top bottom will be 0 and left right will be 0.5 em and for the border radius this side will be 5 pixel this side will be 5 pixel and this two side will be 0 0 and our outline will be none so we won't have an outline when we focus on this and the border will be one pixel solid and this color so let's copy that style for our button as well so we can click on inspect so we only have like two lines of code so let me just copy this control c and here we can now target our button dot btn and paste them control v save and actually we don't need this margin we can simply say padding and the padding actually we let's say padding dash block and the padding block will be zero like so and the padding inline so let's target padding dash inline it should be just inline and the padding inline can be let's say 0.25 em okay this is not enough so let's say 0.5 em or 0.75 let's see and i think 0.75 is pretty close i think this should be all for this section here and yeah i'll stop this video here in the next video we're going to create this section here this recipe card and this grid here so i'll see you in the next video